I am always learning and growing. I take action that brings me closer to my goals every day. I can achieve greatness. I was born to be successful. I am successful. I was born to be great. I am powerful. I am unstoppable. I can do anything. I make smart decisions. I attract everything I need to become successful. Everything I touch turns to gold. I stay focused on my goals. I am constantly improving and getting better. I am self-motivated. All right, all right, all right. My mindset is my most valuable Welcome, asset. welcome, 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 welcome. We're going to be getting this party started in just a second. Tune out to the vibes. Tune out to the vibes. We're going to be getting this party started in just a second. power to create the success I desire. I attract money and value I provide the world. I see the opportunity in every situation. I am self-reliant, creative, and persistent in whatever I do. I have great ideas. I am always learning and growing. I take action to be closer to All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to be getting started here just shortly. I can achieve greatness. If you're just coming in, go ahead and state your name and let us know what city, state, or dimension you're tuning in from. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the call. Welcome to the call. If you're just getting in, go ahead and state your name and let us know what city, state, or dimension you're tuning in from. Hey, this is Lyric from Atlanta. Let's go. Lyric from Atlanta. Peace and greetings. This is Vincent from Florida. Vincent from Florida. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, this is Marlena from Texas. Marlena, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Texas in the house. Hi, this is Lynn from Atlanta. Yes, Lynn from Atlanta. Let's go. Atlanta in the house. Welcome to the call. Who else we got here today? Blue Jay. Georgia. Okay, we got Blue Jay from uh, Georgia. And who else we got from Georgia? Corlin out of Georgia. Let's go. Let's go, Georgia, man. Georgia, Georgia ain't playing. Georgia ain't playing today. All right, one more. Who else we got on the line today? Danae from Indianapolis. I couldn't hear that. Danae from Indianapolis. Let's go from Indianapolis. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, we're going to go ahead and dive in. My name is Isis Love, you guys. And um, I'm super elated about uh, having this segment today. Um, as you guys already know, uh, we're going to be speaking about Forex trading. And uh, Forex trading is, why do we call it the money app? Um, well, let me just put it like this think about the uh think about the apps that you have on the phone right now right think about the apps that you have on the phone right now um do they make you any money no no they they, um they don't they don't they don't make you any money right but with this um, but with this app, with the MetaTrader 4, with the MetaTrader 4 app, you're literally making money from that app. That's the app we're going to be showing you guys 
how to trade from. Right? We're going to be sharing you guys how to trade from that app. So that's why we call it the money, right? Now, um, a little bit of uh, expectations, um, you know, from the call, I mean, from the, from the trial is we're going to be giving you guys and exposing you guys to knowledge that you would never know of. Now, the stock market is totally different from the Forex market. The foreign exchange market does with foreign currencies, right? It, it has to deal with foreign currencies. It has to deal with um, uh, U.S. dollar against the Japanese dollar, Japanese dollar against the euro, right? And that's, that's all it is versus the stocks. It's different. So we're going to be doing our best, right? We're going to be doing our best to give you as much knowledge as possible. Now, are you gonna be able to learn everything about Forex in the first seven, in, in seven days? No, oh, you're not gonna learn everything about Forex in seven days. Do you think that you can compose a song within seven days? No, you can't, right? You can't do it. So with that being said is you gotta remain, you gotta kind of be gentle on yourself. When you're going through this, don't be getting all frustrated and, and all aggravated and all overwhelmed and panties all in the bunch, right? This is something new. So you got to really pace yourself. Now, you guys, this is a seven-day free trial that me and my community are deciding to take our time and energy to really just expose you guys. So the best, let me speak about the best way you can get your benefit out of this seven days is to stay plugged in. What does that mean? I'm gonna be giving you guys uh, some different times that we are going to be um, doing certain things and um, you wanna program this, right? You, you, wanna, you, wanna, you wanna program these times down so that you're not missing the calls. Because let me tell you something, you guys, you don't wanna miss out on an opportunity where somebody's teaching you how to get your money to work for you versus you working for your money. I'm gonna say this again. This is the only opportunity somebody's gonna sit you down and teach you how to get your money to work for you versus you work for your money. Right? So I need you guys to very be very much attentive to everything that's going on. So let's get into it, you guys. I'm so happy and grateful to be teaching you guys this. Mm -hmm. Something that literally has changed my life. I went from living in my living car in to now being able to mentor over 125 people in this from all over the world, all walks of life. So this is our group. We told some of you guys <coughs> to make sure we uh, looked at the welcome video. Hopefully you guys did that. Let's go here. So hopefully you already looked at this. Here we are today. This is our first call. Tomorrow we have a call at eight in the morning. And um and um if you can't make it, we have another one at seven. Do I recommend you make it? Heck yeah. I recommend you make all of these calls. Once again, you're not paying for them, right? So you definitely want to value the time. So heck yeah, join in. So what we're doing is we're inviting you guys to check out, um, check out what we do. It's called make money before you go to work. So I have people in my community that's already trading like for real, for real, like outside the trial, like actually trading. And so every Tuesday we make money with each other. Now, when the last time you sat down with your friends and made some money together? Seriously. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Think about your closest five friends right now. Think about them. Look at them. Think about them. Are y'all sitting down masterminding about how to make money from your cell phone? You might want to pick some new friends. You might want to get real close to the people who invited you to this money app group and become their new friends because they on to something, right? So most definitely, you guys, hop on at 8 o'clock, put this in your phone, 
put this Tuesday at seven in your phone. And then on Wednesday, now this is a free trial, but some of you guys are not going to want to just leave this information and just go live your life normal after this. If you get the concept and you're and you're and you believe in yourself after these seven days, I don't see how you can go back to doing anything else. So on Wednesday, I'll be showing you guys the school I go to. I'll show you how it looks, where I've been learning from, just straight to the point. No presentation, just it is what it is, right? So you can opt in to wanting to learn from the school, or you can just take this seven-day knowledge and just go live your life. It's up to you. You're grown. Now, Thursday, we have another call at 7. Live trading again. We're going to be trading live. The trial ends on Saturday. So what that means is on Saturday, um, I will be removing everybody from the Telegram group. Now, we're going to be giving you guys one to three trades that's going to be sent to the group. Right, one to trade trades a day is gonna be sent to one to three trades to uh, a day is gonna be sent to the group. So here's the thing: you may not catch them all, but it's okay. Does anybody know what FOMO stands for? FOMO, F O M O. Anybody know? I hear a lot of talking in the back. Hold on, let me do something real quick, y'all. Oh, this is another, um, but nobody knows what FOMO is. Okay, hold on, let me, uh, I gotta see who this is. So FOMO is fear of missing out. If you don't have, if you don't get into a trade, don't become FOMO. Don't become anxious because you didn't get to get in a trade. It's okay. It's okay. Just get in the next one. There's no biggie. No need to hyperventilate. It's okay. Because trading is 90% mindset. So it's not really hard. The graphs is really just the mind, you guys, okay? So if you miss a trade, no biggie. Just wait for another one. We're going to put other ones in the group. Um, okay, cool. So let's go into setting up a MetaTrader 4 account. So really quick, remember, the main purpose of this group is to take everybody who doesn't know about Forex. A lot of you guys do not know about Forex. So we're literally exposing you to some information you never, or some of you have, some of you haven't, right? So we're gonna be showing you guys how to actually place the trades. Like how does that, what does that even mean? Placing the trade. Literally when you learn how to read the graphs, let me just show you real quick, cause I was looking at some earlier. When you learn how to read these graphs, like I'm waiting on this green candle to hit this green line to cash out. So when I say put the numbers in your cell phone, if I was to call this trade out to y'all and I would say this is the take profit number, this is the number I would tell y'all. So not to get too techie, but we're going to be showing you guys, you don't really have to do the muscle work, which is read this. We're going to basically be reading it for you and being able to show you guys how you can actually make money, you know, from having even just a little bit of knowledge of Forex simply by being able to copy and paste, right? Being able to get a feel of what it, what it feels. Now, it's not going to be your real live money in there. We don't want to gamble, right? Let me go back. We don't want to gamble. So why are we not putting our real live money in there? Because y'all not about to come back to us practicing in the live account talk about how you lost some money, right? So it's real live trading. The market is real live and moving. The only thing difference is they're giving you demo money. If you, you'll see when you guys put trades in yours, some of us will be putting trades, the same trade in our live account. We'll probably make the same money. So maybe make different depending, but it's the same thing. If you was to put live real live money, in your account, that's the same results, okay? So let's, I'm gonna switch over to my cell phone. Does anybody got any questions so far really quick? No. Amazing, probably still just really taking it all in. Um, what is it called, what is it called? Oh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> 
See, this is going to hit. Let's see if this is going to hit this before we get on the phone. But I got to actually get on this link for my cell phone. So give me one second. Okay. Oh, this is something very important. I hope you guys are taking notes, right? Because if you're just listening to me, you're going to be the one in the group saying, how do you enter a trade? It's going to be like, well, were you taking notes? So I know some of you guys are not used to taking notes, but today's the day that we adopt a new habit. Okay, amazing. Okay, so I'm going to switch screens really quick. Money makers and note takers. All right. So let's open it up. So we're on the MetaTrader 4 app. Sheesh. Okay, so has anybody not opened up a demo account. Have has, has everybody there's like a whole video that explains how to do it. I'm not sure if you did, but I'm gonna go over it one more. I'm gonna go over it in person. And then if you want, you always um uh, this is gonna be recorded, but um you also can go back to the the previous video that we posted in the group. It's pinned to the uh, chat and you'll be able to see it. So basically what I did is I went to this plus button and then I'm going to open a demo account. Now in the video, I recommended that you guys open a broker. What is a broker, Isis? Uh, imagine a broker like being a bank. You go into the bank, you deposit your money, your money sits in the bank collecting little to no interest. A broker, you put your money in a broker, right, which is online, you attach, let's just say you put $100 in your broker. Well, you can sync the $100 from your broker onto your MetaTrader 4, right? So that's what all a broker is. It's just kind of like PayPal, middleman. So I told you guys in the video to make this account. So if you already did with FX Choice Broker, it's okay. But if you haven't, actually use the Hugo's way. And if you already made one with FX Choice, all you got to do is go up here and type in FX choice, and you're gonna go to classic, right? So if you already did it, you can even open up another broker. You can have 12 brokers, you can have 12 demo accounts open, it doesn't matter, right? So I'm gonna go to Hugo's way, name it whatever you wanna name it, it doesn't matter. Whatever you feel the need to, put your number there, email, right? Leverage, you can leave that. Don't worry about that. The only thing you're going to change. Oh, snap. Um, mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to help with in just a second. Um, the only thing that you're going to change is the deposit. This deposit, you want this deposit to say 3000 Why? Because you want this thing so realistic. Nobody is walking around on this phone with a hundred million dollars, right? So we don't. We want to trade with real, like close resorts. I mean, a, a lot of people may not even got three thousand, but it's closer than than the other number, right? So we want to have three thousand. Make it make it uh, realistic. You hit create account, right? They give you a password. So now a uh, couple of buttons to pay attention to. Hold on. So you guys see my screen, but you don't see that screen. Wait, hold on. Can you see the quote screen? Can you see me moving my mouse? No. Oh, okay. So hold on, how can I demonstrate this? Okay, cool. So if you guys look at the bottom, there's like a, a reverse kind of like arrow thingy. I can't really explain it. It's like one arrow going one way, one arrow going another way. Whenever you click that, that gets you to all of these numbers. These are different currency pairs. So you got like the US dollar, I mean the Australian dollar against the US dollar, the European dollar against the US dollar. 
but you don't even really need to get that deep. Whenever we call a trade, you'll just be simply looking for whatever letters we put in there. And I'll show you an example in a second. So if you go to the next little icon, it looks like some little bars or some candles or something. That takes you to the chart. Just in case you want to go and you want to kind of like just look at this, like play with it. The little next thing at the bottom, it looks like an arrow with, I don't know, some smoke coming out of it. That's where you go to go see your balance. And that's where you go to go see your trade in action. The little um, box at the bottom, that's where you see your wins and your loss. The newspaper and the little thingy beside it, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. So let's put it in action. So now we're here. We got our demo account. Now let's take some trade alerts. So let me go back to this group. Okay. Let's use our imagination. Hold on. Let's use our imagination. So when we put a... You know, and you know what, if, if I got any of my educators on here, let's just only do take profit one to make it so simple for them. So let's just say something like this comes in the group. It says trade idea. It says sale, GBP, NZD. I don't know what that means. It's okay. All you got to do is just find the pair first. GBP, NZD. Maybe you got to write it down on a piece of paper. So you'll go here. Say it again. Huh? Say it again. G, B as in boy, P as in papa, N, Z, D. Thank you. You're welcome. And so you look for it. Oh my gosh, I don't see it. What do I do, Isis? Well, only thing you do is if you ne if you if you ever run into the problem when you where you don't see a tr a trade that we call on your front screen, you just go to the plus button in the corner. Let me go back out so I can show you. Look up in my top right, I think. It's a plus button and a pencil. You go to the plus button. You go to the magnifying glass. You know, type it in. And you don't have to do a capital. GBP N Z, let's say N Z D. And then I hit go. Whoop, there it goes. I tap it. I go back out. It always goes back at the bottom. You see it? There it yes. goes. Another way that you can do it, depending on what broker you have, if you got Hugo's way, you're gonna see all of these folders. If you got a different one, you may not see these folders. A shortcut is, let's just say we do a cryptocurrency trade, or you can just hit the cryptocurrency folder, and you can just read the names and see which one, because we're gonna tell you. Let's just say we're trading stocks. There's a stock folder. If we say, hey, we're trading metals like gold, platinum, silver, we'll tell you that, right? So you can just use these little folders sometimes as a cheat sheet, okay? So now that we got our trade, now this is the part you're gonna really need to take notes because if you don't take notes, you're not gonna remember it in your head. And right now you're telling yourself, oh, I'm gonna remember it. No, you're not, write it down. So if you have an Android, and you wanna, oh, you wanna open up this trade. So what you do is you'll hold your finger down, and if you have an Android, it's gonna say new order. I think if you have an iPhone, it's gonna say the word trade, okay? Android, new order, iPhone trade, okay? Gonna hit new order, and it brings us to a screen right here. Now, what does market execution mean, Isis? Market execution means it means that you're selling or buying right then and there. That's all that means. So we, if you see us and we put sale, you don't have to say, is that a sale limit? Is that a buy stop? Which we're going to talk about in just a second. You don't have to ask that because it just simply says sale. It doesn't say sale stop, sale buy, sale limit. It just says sale. So that means market execution. If you have an um, um, iPhone, it's going to say instant, I think, execution. So just keep that in mind. So you, you don't have to change this 
not unless we tell you. And I'll, and I'll give you an example of that in just a second, okay? So keep it as market execution. Now, I'm gonna send y'all a short video on lot sizes. I'm not gonna get too techy because you really don't need to know all of this to be able to copy and paste and be able to make profit. But we will be giving you guys classes throughout the week. So in a nutshell, where it says up here, right, where I'm changing these numbers, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05. Y'all see that? Y'all see how I'm changing these numbers? Mm -hmm. If you don't see how I'm changing these numbers, and all I'm doing is I'm clicking on the plus zero, zero 0.01 to make the numbers go up. And then I click on the negative 0 0.01 to make the numbers go down. And the only thing that means is, really simple, write this down on your paper, 10 cent a bid. Oops. That just means 10 cent a bid, 20 cent a bid, 30 cent a bid, 40 cent a bid, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, a dollar. A dollar and 10, a dollar and 20. That's all that means. So when you start changing that, that's what that means. That means... If the market, for example, went up 200 points, do 200 times $2.50. That's going to be your, <clears throat> that's going to be your profit. Now, keep in mind, you may get a noise. I know, I know, D, one second. I got, I'm on, a, I want to uh, finish, finish uh, this part because I'm sharing my screen on this cell phone. But yeah, I'm going to give you the number two. Thank you for reminding me. But, um. So really quick, if you're ever trying to put in a trade and it makes a noise like, eh, or not enough money, it's because you over leveraging too much. So that's what that is. So you can play around with that, change it if you want, or you can just keep it as it is. Now, this is the most important part. I want y'all to write this on your paper. TP means take profit. Again. TP means take profit. Take, take profit means take your money. Mm -hmm. Take your cash. That means the market, the candles is going to end up probably hitting that point and you're going to take your cash. So they told us that the TP, what does TP stand for, y'all? Take profit. Take profit, baby. Take that money, honey. Mm -hmm. So that's all that means. So whenever they tell us to do it, the only thing that we're going to have to do is do it. So we're going to go back to our app. Let me tell you how lazy I get, y'all. And really quick, let me, um, let me see. Really quick, I get really lazy. Like I hold it and I'm like, look, I'm about to paste it down here just so I can copy the numbers like that. I get real lazy. With it. Now go back here. Now keep in mind, if you got an Android, You'll always put your take profit right here on the green line. Okay, I'll say it again. If you have an Android, the take profit is going to be on the green line. <clears throat> if you have an Android, the take profit is going to be, guess where? The, I mean, the stop line. Green line. Yes, yes. So if you got a if you got an Apple, it's gonna say take profit. If you got an Android, it's gonna be a green line. Okay. So you know what kind of phone you got? That's how we're gonna do it. Okay. So we just take profit, ISIS, where we take our money. Now we're gonna talk about something called a stop loss. What is a stop loss, ISIS? I'm gonna show you all the graph in just a second when I switch back over. But basically, a stop loss is saying, hey. We're predicting that the, the market is going to go up or down, wherever, up or down. It doesn't matter. Let's just say we have, okay, we're predicting it's going to go down. Let's just say that. If the market goes the opposite way and starts to go up, Houston, we have. But the good thing, the good thing about that is that, um, the good thing about that is the stop loss is your risk factor. I think I blacked out. Oh, my screen blacked out, hold on. The stop loss is your risk factor. So, um, so, um, so basically, let's just say you like, you know what, I wanna go for 
you know, $50, but I'm only risking, I only want to risk $5. I only want to risk, um, um, you know, $2. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then it's no surprise. That's what that stop loss is for, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to... Um, yes yes i know i'm I'm bringing it back up in just a second i just kind of as i was bringing it up i wanted to explain that to y'all but thank you so much okay cool now can you guys see it now yes amazing amazing so we'll go right back there and it says stop loss so like i said i'm super lazy i'm gonna copy it you know what words are powerful i, I don't even want to speak that into my life i'm not lazy at all <laughs> I gotta, I gotta watch what I say, even when I'm joking. So, um, <clears throat> so, so boom, right? Because words is power. What you say, you create in your, your reality. So you gotta ask yourself when you look around your reality, you gotta say, "Oh snap! I gotta watch what I'm saying," right? <clears throat> so, anywho, you'll put your stop loss right there, and they already told us it was a sale. The only thing I gotta do is come. It's his sale. And I'm going to do it as an example. <clears throat> now, I got this message because this trade already happened. It's an old trade, right? It's an old one. But you lose our imagination real quick. What do I mean by old? That means the money already hit. But you should use our imagination. One second. Hold on. Let's use our imagination. I want you to see what happens when, when you are in a trade. One second. Hold on. Let me see what this market's is doing. Oh, let's just say I'm going in for a sale. All right. So let's just imagine that it did work. Okay? It worked. Boom. So it's normal. Can y'all still see my screen? Yes. Okay, cool. It's normal um, for it to go into red. Right? It's normal. Because the market is moving up and down. You know, the market is moving up or down. So I'm waiting. <clears throat> if I was to put some numbers in here, which I didn't because I'm just using this example, I would be waiting for the market to actually hit those numbers. <clears throat> I would be waiting for this graph to like hit, you know, my cell area. So once you put those two numbers in your cell phone, you don't have to keep watching the trade over and over. Once it's in, it's in, right? Once it's in, it's in. <clears throat> you don't have to worry about uh, watching it, okay? So remember, once again, <clears throat> it's normal for this to be red and blue, red and blue, blue and red, red and blue, blue and red, until it heats those coordinates. Now, let me show you what it looks like when, look at that, in profit. Now, let's just say you want to close out. So basically, I took one cent into five cents. One cent, I mean, 10 cent into it's really a penny. The, the, uh, the brokers are leveraging, but let's just say it's 10 cent for lack of a better words until 11 cent right now. So, if you want to know how to close out, let's just say we like, hey, y'all, close out, close out, close out right now. You will hold the trade down, or if you got an iPhone, maybe you'll swipe left and you'll hit close order. Or if we say modify, you'll hit modify. So, I hit close. I closed out in profit, in 10 cent prop, 12 cent profit. I go to my history. That's how you know how much you made. I took 10 cent into 12 cent in less than two seconds. That was very close. I'll say less than a minute. All right? I just closed out. So if I had, if this was my real account, I would have just made 12 cent on the market from 10 cent in less than a minute. And that's just cute. <laughs> That's just real cute to what you really can do. So, anywho, um, I just wanted to be able to show y'all, you know, what the trade looks like after you enter it, what the, what it looks like after you won. Like I said, it's gonna be either negative red or um, it's gonna be negative red <clears throat> or uh, blue, right? Meaning that you cashed out. So let's look at another one. One second. I have actually, I have a new a new trader getting about to get started. 
But if y'all give me one second, I'm about to switch back to my screen. I want to show you guys a sell stop and a buy stop because that one can get a little tricky. All right? That one can get a little tricky. Give me one second to bring my screen back up. So imagine that we put something in the group and we say it's a buy stop. We say it's a sell stop. Right? I'm going to show you how that looks. All right. Screen is back up. Should it be? Okay, cool. So let's use another example. All right, let's use another example. This one, for example. Now it says NAS 100 buy limit. That doesn't just say buy, it says buy limit. That means that this is a little bit different than the average, right? So let me mute somebody's line. So very important, you guys, every time you get on here, get used to just muting your line. Like just tapping your phone and hitting the microphone button because we can hear people eating chips in the back, people, babies crying sometimes, all kind of crazy stuff, right? So, Nas. So now I'm gonna go look for it. My first step is look for the trade. I'll go back to the money app, AKA MetaTrader 4. I don't see it. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Plus sign. Huh? Go to the plus sign. Let's go, let's go. Now, if I got Hugo's way, guess what? I can look inside of the folders. If you have FX choice, it's gonna be under like uh it's gonna be something else. I'm gonna have to text the word to y'all. It's not gonna actually say US 30. I mean in it nah, it's a hundred. It's gonna say something else. But right now I'm just speaking with about Hugo's way broker. So I will go to the indices folder. Da 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 da. There it goes. Nas a hundred. Clicked it. I go back out to the main screen. Booyah! There it goes, right at the bottom. Nas one hundred. I open it up. All right. Now I'm going back to what she said. Entry. Write this down in your piece of paper. The word entry sometimes is the same thing. It is the same thing as price. Somebody may say price, somebody may word it as entry. It's no difference. Somebody might say price is, somebody might say entry is, it's the same word. So it says 9505. So I go back, I go up here first, I go to buy limit. Why? Well, I'm not gonna do sell limit. She ain't say sell limit. I'm not gonna do buy stop. She ain't say nothing about buy stop. She said buy limit. All right? Those, this is the price that she told me. Remember, what does entry mean? Price. Price. I put the number here because she told me. This literally doesn't take you that long. I'm just teaching it to you guys. Now, sometimes it has two take profits. What does that mean? That just means that you can enter one trade and come back in and use another take profit. I'll show you. So let me just do take profit one first. What color line am I going to put my take profit on? Red. Did you, uh, did you look, that's, is that what your note says? Mm -hmm. Let me just do it. Green. The green line. So green line. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to ch change it on there just in case. We want to be on one accord, one accord, one accord. So green line is for a take profit. Now, what you said was a stop. Ooh. What you said was a stop loss. And that's good. Yeah, that's good. Watch TV. Who watching TV? Y'all should be paying attention to this trillion dollar information. You see what happens when people don't have their phone mute? You get to hear everything in the back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Now check this out. Now I'm, I'm saying I could be I could be chilling out right now, but I'm giving y'all this information. Like it's almost ten o'clock at night. All right, so check this out. So once again, I go back. They go to stop loss. She already told me. They go to profit, take profit. She already told me. So in this instance, only thing I would have to do is hit place. That's all I would have to do. Let me see if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. Okay, I can do it. I don't know if it already hit or not. 
but I did it. Now, in this case, this is the order. What does that mean? That means it's like ordering Chinese food, but you telling the Chinese person that you want to get the food later. Like, you, it's 3 o'clock, and you're like, hey, look, bring me that Chinese food at 6. That's what a limit is. That means that until the market hits your entry price, a.k.a. your price period, it's not going to knock you into the trade. So you may see it sit like this for a couple of days, and it's okay. Let it do what it do. Now, unless we tell you guys to close it out, because you can always close it out by going to delete order. You can always modify it by changing the number. So you don't have to worry about it. A limit order is going to activate when it's ready. Market execution is we in right now. We ain't playing. We in this thing. Hold on. My bad. So, anywho, um, I think we pretty much got the concept. <clears throat> like I said, it's actually going to take you guys. Go. Oh, yeah. So, take profit, too. So, let's just say we enter once and we want to get in again. I will copy take profit, too. I'll get right back in again. But instead of putting take profit one here, I'm going to put take profit two. I'm still going to do my same entry. I forgot what it was, so I'm making up numbers. All right, I'm going to put my stop loss. I forgot what it was, so I'm making up numbers. But that's when you will put that take profit two in, is if you come into oil to trade again, pretty much. So there's no area for you to actually put all the take profits on one trade. It's just basically saying, hey, we believe the market is going to hit this point based on our analysis and hit this point. Okay. So um, let me see. Does anybody have any questions about placing a trade? Anybody? Any questions? Now, um, it's very important that you participate. I cannot stress that enough. I mean, I can really say just money app trial. This is our 12th trial, right? This is our 12th trial. And so, I mean, I just seen so much. I've seen people geared up talking about they want to do generational wealth, but then they never participate. So what do you really want? Why did you get in this trial? Do you really want this? All right? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Amazing. So don't suffer in silence, you guys. Just if you have, like I said, if you have questions, definitely ask. Remember, you're not going to learn it all at once. Some stuff is going to be foreign. Um, but just do your best. Do your best. That We really made this to also just be fun. So we can show you guys that making money is not some complex thing. Once you know how to do it, it's genuinely a fun thing to do. We literally have fun while we're making this money. So does anybody have any other questions? Uh, you say tomorrow at 7 a.m.? At uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. All calls are going to be based off Eastern time. Okay, but I'm saying is it uh, 7, 7 a.m. is my time, but 8, 8 o'clock. I'm talking about a.m. in the morning? A.m. in the morning, and then... And then 7 p.m. Eastern in the noon. Okay, so it'll be 7 o'clock my time. Okay, good enough. Amazing. And that's another thing, you guys. If you're not sure what your time zone is, you might want to Google it. All calls are going to be based off of Eastern Standard Time. That was a great question. One more question. I'll be, I'll be on every last one of them. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, John. John. Is that John? Yes, it is. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Mr. Anderson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anybody? I love it. I love it. Israel, you have a question? Yes. Okay. So I've been a part of it for like a month now, right? But it's another group I'm trying to join. I think it's 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 not Generation 12.0. I mean, to, yeah, it's not that one. It's a different one. Somebody asked me what, why wasn't I in the group, and I'm trying to figure out how to add myself to it. It's not letting me do it. Oh, wait a minute. So you're already. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, I'm a little confused. So wait, so you're already trading with us? Yes. Oh, who who um who got you started? D Renee. Oh. Oh, I got you. Yeah, this is for. Oh, so you say you already been in for like a month? Yeah. 
I just joined the Zoom. I don't know what the conversation was about, but I just wanted oh, to say that. Yeah. This this is the wrong conversation. This is um. Oh, this, I'm sorry, my bad. No, no, no it's, it's all good. I mean, you can listen in. This is just we helping new people now get to the position where you are at now. Okay. Well, hey, everybody. I'm about to mute my phone. <laughs> I just inbox you after the Zoom. Okay. Cool. Makes sense. Okay. Thank you. Yes, that's she's actually already trading with us. Okay. Amazing, amazing. She took that leap with faith. All right, family. Um, I know, um, I know it's I know it's still a little, you know, like what, but just like I said, do your best to tune in. The most important part is that you know how to place these trades. Um, we have some videos already in there. If you gotta watch it back to back, watch that video back to back. You really want to get it. And um, ask all your questions in the group, and I'll catch you guys at eight. Okay. You welcome. You guys. All right, focus. I see you, John. You focus. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Ivy. All right, you welcome. Peace and greetings, y'all. Thank okay. you. Okay. Have a good evening. All right, too. Thank you. Mm -hmm.